We're also happy to be starting out another work week, I guess. I mean, we are. I'm so almost back to school. Well, this, yeah, this is the last week kids are going to have to get outside, enjoy the summer before they have to go back to school. But are they week. going to be able to get outside? Right momentarily in between the rain unfortunately yeah yeah it's going to be kind of a, a wet setup for us this week and uh, that kind of starts today it's just some isolated storms though today but much better rain chances uh, starting on tuesday temperatures right now starting in the low 70s but you see dew points aren't that bad still doesn't feel too terrible outside lower humidity for us that humidity does start to crank up later on this afternoon you're going to feel the differences in the air from what we had this weekend to what we'll see for today. It was still plenty hot this weekend, but uh, that humidity will start to crank up. Clouds now starting to exit stage right into Georgia. Temperatures mild in our south and west, but cooler to the north. 65 right now in Gadsden, also up in Coleman. And you see our warmest spots in Tuscaloosa, 74 degrees, so about 10 degrees of difference in those warm spots and the cool spots. We've got storms to our east, storms to our west. We're kind of stuck in the middle with a warm front that's lifting north. That will open up the door for the Gulf of Mexico to stream in lots of humid air into central Alabama. That, in turn, will increase our rain chances and really provide the fuel that storms need to get going for this afternoon. We think isolated storms for today, 30-40% coverage at best, but much better rain chances Tuesday and for the middle of our work week. Going through the rest of the week, really, uh, rain chances stay in the forecast. You see a really good coverage of storms all across the Deep South on Tuesday. Some of these storms could be strong. We don't expect any severe weather, but some strong storms could result. Some heavy rainfall, also gusty winds and lots of lightning. And depending on where these storms set up, maybe an isolated flooding threat could develop too, especially as we get into the week as rain starts to pile up. But for today, low 90s in the warmest spots. Clouds will be on the increase with a few showers around. And we could see a few overnight storms too with a mostly cloudy sky and temperatures in the mid 70s. For the next seven days, we stay unsettled. Tuesday into Wednesday, numerous storms around. Some big storms that we were talking about a little earlier with all those hazards, then scattered showers and storms Thursday, Friday, and unfortunately for the last weekend of summer for a lot of kids, Saturday and Sunday.